Matt, what are you doing since you've come back? Why you decided to go down? I mean, what a difference it makes to have such a huge celebrity go to Haiti and bring attention to it. Well, it was funny. You know, we went down there and uh, we actually delayed our trip because the final hur hurricane Ike. It was it was when the last hurricane was coming. Had 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 hit Haiti, but was net was coming. And remember, it hit the Gulf Coast and. Um, we delayed our trip a day because, you know, CNN had all their guys in the red windbreakers and they were all down there like doing their windblown shots and we knew we would never be able to invade that news cycle, you know. So we, we waited, uh, you know, to, till things kind of calmed down and, and we went uh, and as we were coming back from uh, Haiti, uh, everybody's blackberries on the plane started going crazy because it was September 15th and Lehman had just failed and so, you know, the whole, whole purpose of Wyclef and my going down, I mean, obviously it was to do food distributions and, you know, whatever, but it's, it's obviously to try to draw attention, you know, and it's, it's much easier to get on the news if you're promoting a Bourne movie than it is if you're talking about people who are dying 600 miles uh, away for, for really unnecessary reasons. And, um, and so we came back and it was very frustrating. I mean, we got on you know, we got on CNN, CNN International put us on, it, you know, on a in a taped segment, but we probably got seven minutes of airtime of just trying to, you know, explain what we'd seen and in the frankest terms we could to try to get some kind of uh, spotlight on it, but we were really frustrated by it. So on the contrary, feeling like a big star going down there, I felt like kind of a jackass, you know. <laughs> Because we came back and we couldn't, you know. In fact, we did a, we did a radio interview, or no, we did a, a telephone interview from, on CNN from the Port-au-Prince airport. You know, they said, oh, they've agreed to get you on. And so we called in, uh, Clef and I called in, and we were sitting there, and uh, we had to listen to the first 10 minutes of, uh, of, of CNN, you know, before they put us on in their, in their, in their cycle. So 10 minutes into the, so we listened to the first 10 minutes, and it was all about Hurricane Ike, and you could hear these, people who are still down on the Gulf Coast going, there are yachts in the street. It is just, I've never seen anything like this. And to take nothing away, I mean, obviously, people actually did die in Hurricane Ike, you know, here, here in America. But, um, but I just remember feeling after what we had seen and, 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 and how horrible it really was in Haiti uh, that, that we just have very different uh, yardsticks by which, you know, we measure... Uh, uh, disasters. I mean, and uh, and and so I, I don't I don't know what the answer to that is. I don't know how to. I mean, I emailed Paul at the time, and Paul said, "Well, look, I'm, you know, all I got is a column in the Nation. You know, readership 1,500. You know, what, you know." <laughs> <laughs> and this is after true. Re I mean, I mean, it was really uh, horrible down there. But I mean, anyway, going back to the to the last. Uh, Thing. I mean, Paul said the first night I met him that what Haiti needs, in, in keeping with what you were saying, is, is, uh, is, is a Marshall Plan. That's really what it needs. And, and in, in all the kind of extreme poverty work where they do all these polls, what people dying, you know, unnecessarily and because they're extremely poor doesn't actually move people. Uh, the national security argument doesn't even move people. That was a new argument that came out post 9-11 that we were hoping would kind of get some traction. You say, look, well, there's a madrasa right there. If, you know, if, you see, if you're not talking to them, they're going to be, you know, it's, and, you know, on the heels of all these kind of failing attempts to try to kind of garner support, um, what they did find had some traction in their polling was if programs are effective, then people will, will, st will stay with them. So, for me, it's, it's just to try to find things that are working and, and try to put as much attention on them as possible because people, I think, want to feel like they don't want to be told there's this problem that they can't do anything about. On the contrary, they want to be told that there's this giant problem and, and they want to rise to the challenge of, 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 of fixing it. And I think we find ourselves at a time when we have serious challenges here and so perhaps that's going to be uh, you know, the movement and, and the challenge of Obama if he can actually really get people to answer this call. But I hope that kind of poverty here and, and issues here, uh, you know, in, in, the, in, in the addressing of those issues, the, the, the issues of extreme poverty, which is really a, di a different and more incredibly horrible thing, could, could, al could also be a part of that. I'm, I'm hoping that this kind of new hopeful and youthful uh, energy is 
directed uh, at, at those problems because those problems are actually fixable. And, and, and there are practical, very practical, simple solutions that, that, that do work and that can work. I know Danny Glover is making a film about Toussaint Louverture and in the United States sought funding, ultimately went to Venezuela and then was criticized for that, but saying here this country is so close to ours and yet how little interest. 